animals in the Fallville Police Department kind of go together. The district's resource officer, Tony Khan, has a new best friend. And instead of two arms, two legs with hands and feet, he's got four legs, a tail, and a big heart. Understand. Understand. This partnership all started six months ago. Khan had an idea to introduce a therapy dog to the school system and help hundreds of kids throughout the five buildings. Although the only issue was being able to afford one, as they're valued at $20,000. Everybody was on board with it. Started looking for uh, grants and figuring out how to get one going. Uh, pretty much came up with nothing. Uh, last ditch effort, I contacted Bobby Bright here at the Legion. I'm, I'm a member here. I contacted him and I said, do you know anybody or have any avenues I can, uh, I haven't exhausted? He said, give me, give me about three days. Four days later, Bobby Bright with the American Legion Post 141 in Howell got a hold of Khan and said he had some good news. We were able to hook him up with VTAC and CISA's foundation who provided this dog, Henry Lee. The two groups of the Veterans Treatment Assistance Corps and CISA's Foundation were able to collaborate and donate the Bernadoodle. We raise, well, breed, raise, train, and donate service dogs, facility dogs, and therapy dogs to youth, veterans, um, police facilities, school districts. We had the absolutely, absolute perfect dog, Henry, and he was, we thought that he would be excellent, an amazing addition. And Kelly Mead with VTAC says it was like a match made in heaven. Literally within just a few hours, we had it all arranged and we've continued his training and Officer Cole is committed to continue with his training as well and it all just happened so smoothly. Meanwhile, Colin is saying he's thankful to be working for and have a great support system. It's wonderful that the whole community came together to make this happen and they're very supportive. Here for you in Livingston County, McCoy Scribner, 6 News.